Hi guys. So today let's try to apply what we've learned so far to interest rate models. So let's consider a stochastic differential equation for an interest rate process given by dr of t is equal to beta t r t dt plus gamma t r t dw tilde t. Okay, so we have a risk neutral measure given by p tilde and under p tilde w tilde of t basically is a Brownian motion and the discounted value of all assets are a martingale. Okay, and if you were to construct a portfolio with these assets, then the discounted value of the resulting portfolio under the risk neutral measure would also be a martingale and that would guarantee that there is no arbitrage in the model. Okay. Now R of T basically is called a short rate, uh, it's basically called short rate because we could borrow or lend uh, for a very short period of time using this in, at this interest rate. Okay, so this basically is called a short rate and this basically is a single factor model. If the dynamics of the interest rate process is given by a single differential equation, then basically it's called a single factor model. And the limitation with the single factor model is that we can only model uh, parallel shifts in the yield curve and we cannot model complex uh, changes in the yield curve like twists. Okay, the so changes in curvature, changes in the slope of the yield curve is not possible using a single factor model. We can pretty much model a parallel shift in the yield curve. Okay, so with that limitation, and keep that limitation in mind, but today we're going to consider a single factor short rate model. Okay, and the differential equation for that is given by this. And we've studied before that the discount process is basically given by e to the power of minus integral 0 to t r of u d of u. Okay, so what is d of t? Basically, is the present value of a dollar to be, re to be received at time t. Okay, so it basically gives us the uh, discount factor okay this basically is called a discount process so we can take the differential of this d of dt then would be given by minus rt dt times dt okay so this also we've seen many times before so i'm not it's just a simple differential of this okay and this is what we're going to get and right now what we want to do is we want to basically find out the price of a zero coupon bond Okay, so what is a zero coupon bond? We already know what a zero coupon bond is. So if you basically are standing at time small t and we have time capital T and let's assume that the zero coupon bond matures at time capital T, then we basically get the face value back at time capital T. Let's assume that the zero coupon bond has a face value of $1. So we'll get $1 at time capital T, which is the face value. And we need to find the value of the zero coupon bond at time small t, which is given by this notation okay and since it's a zero coupon bond it doesn't pay any coupon in between time small t and capital T okay it's a very simple instrument now what we want to do is you want to basically figure out what is the price of this zero coupon bond today and we can do that using the risk neutral pricing formula and and as we said under the risk neutral measure the discounted value of all assets are a martingale so we can write that as b t t times d t is equal to expected value under the risk neutral measure of b t t d t given information at time small t okay now what is b capital t capital t this basically is the value of the zero coupon bond at time capital t but at time capital t we basically just get the face value back and in this case the face value is equal to one dollar so this is going to be equal to one so we can write b t t is e times e of 0 to t r of u d u is equal to expected value under the risk neutral measure of e minus integral 0 to capital T r of u d u f of t. Okay. Now this quantity, since it's an integral from 0 to small t, this thing is going to be uh, known at time f t. Or basically at time t this quantity would be known so if we can basically take this on the right hand side 
and take it inside the expect uh, inside the expectation because this quantity is known at time ft right so we can write this as btt is equal to expected value under the risk neutral measure and we'll get e to the power minus integral small t to capital t r of u du given information at time t right that's the basically formula for uh, a zero coupon bond now if you remember in the previous lecture we basically had a similar differential equation but that time we were considering a process given by x of t and that time we had a similar differential equation but instead of r we had an x and we basically were we considered um, instead of a risk neutral measure we basically considered a um, normal probability measure so we had a w instead of a w tilde but the differential equation was exactly the same and that time we said since xt is modeled by this differential equation xt is a markov okay and since it's a markov if you want to figure out expected value of a function of x of t given information at time t we said since it's a markov we could write this as another function of t and x of t right that basically meant that since it's a markov if you wanted to figure out this expectation it only depends on the value of xt it doesn't depend on the value of x before t okay that basically what is meant by markov similarly um we have a similar differential equation this time when we're modeling the short rate uh, pretty much x is replaced by an r so using the same logic as what we talked about in the previous lecture we would see that r basically is a markov as well so r of t is also a markov and if r of t is a markov then this expectation can be written as a function of time and r of t okay if you compare this expectation to this expectation here we had a function of x of t here we have this integral going from t to capital t but this integral uh, basically would this would basically just evaluate to a function of rt okay because this doesn't depend on the value of r before time t the only dependence on uh, r before time t is at rt okay so this basically is a markov as well and we can write this bond the value of this bond as a function of time and r of t very similar to the previous lecture okay because this is also a markov this was also a markov here we could write it as a function of g uh, as a function of t and x of t here using the same argument because it's a markov and this depends only on r of t not values of r before time t we can write this as a function of time and r t okay so hopefully this was clear why we're writing this as a function of time and r of t because it's a markov and it doesn't depend on the values of r before time small t okay it only depends on rt great so now the next thing we need to do is we basically if we you know if you remember from the previous lecture we said if you want to figure out what is the partial differential equation that satisfies uh, this this function we basically need to find a martingale we take need to take the differential of the martingale and we need to um, equate the dt term equals to zero so that's what we're going to do. We know that this basically is a martingale. Discounted value of a zero coupon bond is a martingale. So let's uh, take the differential of this, take the dt term, equate it to zero, and we'll get our partial differential equation. So let's do that. <laughs> 